It's a hot commodity these days, toilet paper. Since the coronavirus outbreak hit, people are stocking up from coast to coast, creating shortages. In North Carolina, authorities say a truck may have been stolen with 18,000 pounds of commercial toilet paper inside. The Guilford County Sheriff's Office says the shipment was lawful, but the trailer had been reported stolen when they discovered the coveted cargo in the back. At this time, the sheriff says the driver is only suspected of stealing the truck, and no arrests have been made as they continue to investigate the incident. Some stores like Costco have been limiting the amount of toilet paper customers can purchase at once. It kind of puts them in their place, like, you can't be doing that. You know, taking advantage of people during a national crisis. Despite the limitations, they're still finding it hard to keep up with demand. This California Costco put a sign outside the store listing products they ran out of. Toilet paper was at the top of the list. But it's not all panic purchasing that's leading to the shortage, according to a market research firm, which reports a 140% increase in household use of toilet paper. Since many people are staying at home, they're using more of their own toilet paper instead of what's provided in offices, schools, and public establishments. Paper companies like Atlanta-based Georgia Pacific have been ramping up production to get Americans through this trying time. For InsideEdition.com, I'm Mara Montalbano.